Okay, so let's go ahead and write the nuclear equations for these uh, isotopes that are undergoing beta decay. So the way we express a beta particle is it's got a atomic mass or a mass number of zero and we actually say that it's got an atomic number of minus one and the reason for that is because the um, uh, we've got a neutron that transforms into a proton and the high energy electron or the beta particle now so because um, we lose a neutron but gain a proton the overall mass stays the same, but we've gained a proton, so that uh, that means that the atomic number is now seven. So the rule with beta decay is the atomic number goes up by one, and the mass stays the same. So we need to grab our periodic table and see what element is number seven, and that of course is nitrogen. Nitrogen is number seven. Okay, now the next one we have is number thirty-eight, and that is strontium. Okay, so again, it's a high energy electron, zero minus one. So that means our atomic number goes up to thirty-nine. Our mass stays the same. And so we look at the one that's straight after strontium, and that's yttrium. So it's just a Y. Okay, so high energy electron, the mass stays the same, the atomic number goes up by 1, that's 20. So it's gone from potassium to calcium. Okay, so you really need to be able to do these yourself, that simple rule. Okay, when we have a high energy electron, the mass stays the same. The um, atomic number increases by one. So you have a look at the periodic table and find the next one. So we've gone from nitrogen to eight, which is, of course, oxygen. There you go, it's simple as that.